Hi guys, it's Teresa and today I'm gonna do a Halloween tutorial. Um, if you guys watch anime, I'm gonna be doing the female titan from Attack on Titan. And I am wearing a shirt. I am. But you know, I'm gonna be drawing up here. So I needed to wear something where I have access to that. But anyway, I wanted to intro you guys with my regular face because I was thinking if I wait till the end when I already have the stuff on and I enter you guys it might be like a little intense when you first open this video okay you're gonna need a jumbo eye pencil in white or if you have a cream eyeshadow base that's fine too and you're just gonna pretty much outline your eye like legit just draw a circle around your eye like so and then you're gonna just fill in some spots. It, uh, this part totally does not have to be clean or whatever because you're just gonna blend it in like so. And then you're gonna blend out it quite far. Well, I'm gonna blend it out quite far later. But you don't need the base to go all the way out because it's not gonna be as strong anyway. So you don't need as much of the base. So there. <laughs> yeah, I look so creepy. Okay. <laughs> so then you're gonna get... A black pencil. I think I need to sharpen this real quick. Give me one moment, please. And this is when I look super scary. You're gonna go under your eye like that and as well as over. But when you go over, just dot it. <laughs> just go under. Oh yeah, I bet you guys were like, that was a weird laugh. But yeah, I know I laugh really weird. Okay, just blend that down. After you have the black and the white base. I'm, I didn't do this yesterday, but I'm actually gonna go and put- I'm just putting this directly on my face, because later I'm just gonna wipe it anyway. And you don't want the lipstick too close your eyes, because I'm pretty sure that is not appropriate use of lipstick. I don't think it's meant for that area of your face, you know? So then you're gonna take a shader brush. I like- mine's in my drawer. Okay. And then you're gonna load it up with a red eyeshadow or blush or whatever and then you're just gonna start from um, I start from under my eye right here and I just put the red under my eye and just press it in and then I whatever's left over I put it on the top like that and just go in a circular motion around my eye and then do it again with the other eye and then I'm gonna get my blending brush which is some right here my blending brush and now I'll just start to blend it so I kind of get an idea of where I'm gonna place all the other eyeshadows later this looks really like red and in your face right now but don't worry we'll act black alright now we're gonna go back with the black base and I recommend using a jumbo eye pencil instead of an eyeliner because this gives you a lot more time to blend. And then as well as like right here. I'm going to go in with another blending brush. And I'm going to go with a red and a dark um, brown. And then I'm going to blend this out. You're putting black here to make it seem like your eyes are more sunken in. Especially if you're Asian because you know we don't have that. And female titan Annie is white. I'm pretty sure because she's blonde. <laughs> so there you go and then now we're gonna deepen this red up so I just go in with a darker brown and a little bit of the red and now I just kind of like blend it everywhere so with a black pencil you're just gonna take like draw from under your eyes like a curve. I did it on this eye already, but I'll show you on this one. I kind of just draw this straight down, and then I use that as a guideline. And it's kind of like just under your eye bags. Just draw a little C shape, and then take this out a little farther and draw another one. And then put, drag this straight down, like that. This is like straight down and then you're just kind of like just gonna draw lines just like it would be a spider web but it's not like curved web it's more straight 
You can do the curve one too, but I just really didn't think about that till right now, so yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take the black and I'm just gonna dot it. I hate dots. Dots freak me out so much. So instead of using a blending brush, since this is a wider area, I'm actually gonna use a contour brush and I'm just gonna blend it like so. So now we're just going to go back in with some more red. I'm actually going to use a brighter red with the brown. And then just blend that right under here. Like so. Now we're going to go do our eyeliner. Because honestly, I think without the eyeliner, it looks really like meh. But once you add the eyeliner, it really does make a big difference. So... I'm just going to heavily line the bottom, and then line the top, and then I'm going to blend that out with the dark brown, mix with a little red again. Vista, it's like this mauve grayish color, it actually looks really dead, and I like it. This kind of just tones down the red, so that's why I use it first. And then I'm going to wipe my lipstick off a little bit. And go in with the red. I'm gonna go and draw under our lips, but outside like this. Just line your lips. And from here, you kind of draw like kind of like fangs, I guess, but not your teeth. Like that. And then here, you're going to want to outline the corner of your mouth. Later, you're going to ombre it so it's not going to look like a weird mustache. And then, you're just going to connect that through and then box it off. I think these are like stitches for when she like opens her mouth. I have actually no idea. You're gonna get um, a little brush. This is kind of fluffier than you might want it, but I like using this one. And then you're gonna go in with a navy color. You can mix it with the brown too. And then I just dot it on the back of my hand. And then you're gonna deepen the corners of your mouth. And then here I just like to blend it with my fingers. Okay, for this part, I take the same brush I use for my lips. If you think that's gross, you can use something else. But just because there's already some product in there, it's like a blackish reddish product, I use that to kind of outline. So if you can't see yours, you can just kind of inhale, and then it'll kind of pop up like that. Or you can turn your head. So I know mine is like about right there, and then I can clearly see my collarbone. So then I just go like that. Same thing with this side. Don't press too hard because it hurts your neck. <laughs> And then right there, and then under your collarbone. It's very useful if you have a mirror, and then to hold it like this. And then my other collarbone. And this is just a guideline. I make this one come in more than the next one, and kind of just curve down into like your boob. And then we're going to go with our lipstick. <laughs> and this is where we just go at it. So, for the inside of your neck, pretty much in... <laughs> and then draw the V down. Then shade it in. Here I use a sponge. This is from earlier today. So, <laughs> but you can take a sponge and that will help you kind of just distribute the red everywhere. So then you bring it right onto your chin and jawline. I should tie up my hair, huh? No, I'm good. Too easy. Time to get up. <laughs> and then here, just kind of smudge it out. And then you're going to go in with, now you can use a big brush. So I use this blush brush and I go in with the reds. And I just go at it. <laughs> and then you want to mix in a little bit of the brown too. And then I like to bring this all the way back here. 
Okay, back to blending brush, a smaller one. Go in with the red and a little bit of the brown. We'll see red. And we're going to go closer to the line that we made earlier. And then deepen it up there as well. Bring it closer. Now with that, you can go back in with some red and liven it up again. Okay, so this is basically the, we're done with most of it. Now we're going to add a little bit more detail. So I'm going to take a little small brush, a very small brush, and go in with the brown and the red. And then here, I'm going to make this V very dramatic. And just keep on blending that area. And then you want to deepen up right here above your collarbone. This is my favorite part. You go right here and you're gonna blend it down a little bit and then shade it right there and then make it quite thin and bring it up. And then blend it out with your red. And then now with the makeup wipe in your finger, like so. I'm gonna clean your collarbone because you want this to stand out the most. And then, if you want it to pop out more, you can highlight the area. You don't want to use a shimmery highlight, this isn't like everyday makeup. <laughs> Just take a light color that's kind of like your skin color, a little lighter, and then apply it to your collarbone at the sharpest point right there. Or you can apply it everywhere actually. That's what I did yesterday. I want to do a little bit more veining, so I'm going to go in with a detail brush and some more of the brown and red, and then you can just draw some mock veins. Especially under. The wet thing is cool too, but just to add more. And then, of course, you're going to blend it out anyway. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a blending brush. As well as down your bridge. This makes your nose look a lot higher. So if you want to do that, <laughs> it's cool for that. And now, your face is pretty much finished. But... I have one last finishing touch, and I'm going to go put it on, so BRB. <laughs> I have a wig! <laughs> so if you guys are cosplaying this, you pretty much need a wig, unless you're already blonde, then yay. But I got this one off of eBay, I think it was 7 bucks, but I accidentally ordered two. Whoops! But my friend is actually probably going to use it, but anyway, there's actually the real wig for female titans, so you can order that, but I didn't see that because I didn't even look it up. I just kind of looked up blonde wig and I was like, okay, I was very excited, very excited. But this one is a lot more Armin than it is like female titan, so depends on how accurate you want her hair to be. But besides that, I think it looks okay <laughs> but I'm gonna insert some pictures for you guys because honestly I think it looks like a lot different on camera than it does in pictures or in real life it looks a lot more red on camera and like vibrant but I made it a little more like deeper so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I might be doing an Aaron Yeager one because that was tight. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Happy Halloween. And if you're using this cosplay, oh my gosh, take me to an anime convention. Because I want to go too. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Mwah.